Welcome friends, I am Tanmay, I welcome you all in the channel Chemistry and History of Molecules. So, today we are going to discuss about the preparation of paracetamol. Paracetamol is a very famous renowned drug used as a uh, fever reducing agent you can say or in better term we can consider it as an antipyritic. Okay, so it both reduces the pain as well as fever. That's why it is called antipyritic. So, it's a very small molecule but produce worldwide a lot, very important uh, drug molecule. So let's discuss about its preparation. So before going to discussion, I want to mention you that the example of chemistry you are learning here, majority have taken from a manuscript that is published in Green Chemistry Journal. It's a very renowned journal from Royal Society of Chemistry. That is this Green Chemistry published in year 2014, volume 16 and page number 2997. You may go through this paper if you want to learn details about it. Okay, okay, let's start. So, uh, three way we will discuss about this preparation. First process, see, nitration of chlorobenzene and all these reaction I believe you know. It's not that much difficult. Nitration of chlorobenzene, we know the nitration of chlorobenzene produces both ortho and para. They are separated and the para isomer is used for, uh, for the preparation of this substitution of this chloro with hydroxyl. Why? Because we know this nitro group. This nitro group is a electron deficient because of this. This nitro group actually look like this. So it is electron deficient and it can uh, hold electron. And that is the reason that this Cl is substituted via aromatic nucleophilic substitution. Okay. So that please keep this term in mind. Aromatic nucleophilic substitution. Aromatic nucleophilic substitution. Somebody can written that is in yeah substitution. Uh, nucleophilic aromatic you may say like that although some people say so why this is happened because this HO minus attacks here if it attacks then it opens it would opens means negative charge first comes here after that okay let me draw one structure so negative charge comes here so negative so that negative will push so this will come here and in this way it will open so first it happens and what does it produces? So let's discuss that it produce means next step it produces this is a OH, this is Cl, this is nitrogen O minus, nitrogen is plus, and here also O minus. This is this is so it is produced. So in this way the negative charge is delocalized, fine. So after that what it does, this negative charge further pushes here, it goes here, it goes here. Now the point, point question is who will leave? From here hydroxyl is there, yes chloro, but if hydroxyl leaves there is a no good fate and secondly hydroxyl loss is not that much good leaving you compared to chloro because better option there is for chloro. So what happened? So that's why this chloro will leave and what it will produce? If chloro leaves, then it will ultimately produce this para nitrophil. Now the question is, will it be directly produced? The uh, answer is no, because in one step, you see there is in second step, first step is treatment with sodium hydroxide. In second step, there is ACL is given. Why? Because this para nitrophenol derivatives, this this OH are sufficiently acidic because of the same reason because this para nitro so this if it deprotonates means I want to say that in presence of H plus because since there is o alkali I am not going to the second step in the first step excess alkali is present in the reaction medium consequently it will deprotonate this and this negative charge will similarly be stabilized using the nitro group in this way. So that's why directly phenol is not obtained. We know that phenol is an acidic compound. True, but 
if if nitro group is added to the para position its acidity enhances you know it because of this resonance consequently the acidification step is essential in order to have this para nitro phenol okay para nitro phenol fine now the second step is the next step is this and another thing before going to details i have previously written that paracetamol's name is n acetyl paraminophenol its paracetamol is a common name chemical name is n acetyl paraminophenol i suggest you please keep it in mind if you keep it in mind it will be easier for keep in mind about the pathway because n acetyl see n acetyl and this is the structure of paracetamol okay so n acetyl means this is the acetyl attached to n that's why n acetyl and second is para aminophenol okay so you have to prepare para aminophenol that's needed so in this step we have prepared para nitrophenol so we have to reduce this nitro group to corresponding amine you can use other reagents in laboratory scale because written in your books industry what they prefers they prefers this reduction using a platinum catalyst on hydrogen because hydrogen is a green reducing agent i know that platinum is a very costly catalyst but since it uses hydrogen it's okay and right now scientists are trying to replace replace such noble metal or costly metal or earth means a very low abundant metal like this platinum palladium those thing so it is now a hot topic for such conversion using relatively abundant material like 3d transition metals okay fine so whatever so this platinum helps to reduce the influence of hydrogen platinum acts as a catalyst to reduce this nitro group into corresponding this amine group fine and it's a neutral medium so no problem and second point nitrophenol is electron deficient that's why its acidity is higher but amine is not electron deficient it's electron donating so the story is reversed what do i mean that it was previously electron deficient and now electron rich and secondly in presence of ac2o means acetic anhydride ch3 co o co ch3 okay so this is acetic anhydride what happens this lone pair of amine this lone pair of amine attacks here it opens up after that it pushes its electron it backs because and secondly acetate is a good leaving group what do i mean ch3 co CH3 CO O minus acid is a good leaving group because of this resonance like two canonical form equivalent canonical form I repeat so in this way this acetylation occurs to produce this is this molecule that is paracetamol fine so this is the method number one and in this case you have to keep it in mind how this chlorobenzene is obtained chlorobenzene is obtained from benzene because uh, all industrial processes. some raw material and variety is produced it is needed so how it produced from benzene you know this this is a friedel crack halogenation you can consider like that in presence of iron or iron chloride whatever you take you act as needed a lewis acid lewis acid and second is halogen chloride so in that case aromatic electrophilic substitution aes happens and it produces chlorobenzene and that chlorobenzene is utilized in subsequent stages so this is the overall process for this paracetamol preparation from this industrially available sources fine so the next step is the preparation from phenol okay so before going to phenol you should know that phenol is also produced in one step from benzene using first you can consider that iso uh, propene first stage propene and sulfuric acid i have made a dedicated video about this and uh, second is oxygen alkali ho minus in five atmosphere pressure around and third step is catalytic sulfuric acid dilute so this cumin phenol rearrangement happen this is process is called cumin phenol process or hop process or you can say cumin phenol rearrangement also so in this way phenol is prepared so fine and there are another methods also we like dao process or sulfonic acid hydrolysis so i i have uploaded few videos and in future i'll upload so please look at this it will be helpful to understand the process how phenol is prepared in industry second what happened this nitric acid in presence of sulfuric acid acts as a catalyst because nitric acid produces 
Actually, if we look at the structure of nitric acid, this is structure nitric acid HNO3 O minus N plus. So, in terms of catalytic amount of sulfuric acid, it protonates to prepare OH2 plus and it leaves to prepare NO2 plus. Okay, so this act and this plus charge remains on the nitrogen electron efficiency. So, the, in this way, this is actually the electrophile E plus. And this reaction happens here, both produces. Means this ortho as a, this is the para isomer, para nitrophenol, along with ortho is produced, but ortho is steam volatile. Steam volatile because of intramolecular hydrogen bonding. What do I mean? See, like this is O minus, this is plus, and this is O. So this part, this oxygen and this hydrogen, they form hydrogen bonding. That's why they are steam volatile. That's why they are easy to separate. Compared to, if you check the para isomer, that is intermolecular. This is intramolecular hydrogen bonding. Intermole intramolecular hydrogen bonding. So because of this in intramolecular steam volatile means boiling point is low. So if you heat in low temperature, it will go outside. It will remain in the reaction medium. So in this way, it is separated. Second step, this is this ortho my paraminophenol is reduced to paraminophenol using same reagent means hydrogen and palladium. So in this way, paraminophenol is prepared. And second, like this step, as acetic anhydride same. This is prepared. This is the second process. And the third process. The third process is little. It is it is little little different compared to traditional process because here you can see we are starting from nitrobenzene. Okay, so and one thing before in the second process, always keep it in mind. This uh, nitration of phenol has a disadvantage. Disadvantage means it has an oxidation to prepare different oxidized product like quinones, etc. Okay, etc. I am saying many products could be prepared, and that is the reason why some amount of this product starting material is wasted because of this oxidation. Starting material wasted, reagent wasted. So that is the disadvantage of this process. Also, second. So here you can see this uh, nitrobenzene. The how this nitrobenzene is prepared? Nitrobenzene is prepared. This is prepared from benzene. This is benzene similar, we know nitric acid, sulfuric acid, under normal condition it produces and secondly over nitration is not that much possible because after nitration the electron, uh, electron availability in the nucleus is reduced because of the withdrawing effect of nitro. So further nitration is little difficult and trinitration is extremely difficult. I will explain this fact in another video. So what happens? This nitrogen is produced and here only one product because six positions are same so no problem is there. So, uh, second it is reduced using platinum hydrogen. It's a, uh, as I told, industrial process, but in textbook, uh, you have, you know that in terms of not only palladium hydrogen, in textbook it is made zinc ammonium chloride produces this hydrox, uh, phenyl hydroxyl and this is named as phenyl hydroxyl amine. So, this molecule is little special. Why I am saying little special? Because you can see that in this molecule there is a OH and NH bond is there. And we know such type of bonds are not that much stable. Why? Because this bond, this is a two hetero uh, electronegative atom. And secondly, that both lone pair repels each other. So that which we call alpha effect. Okay. And this makes it more reactive, such molecule more reactive, more react. So consequently, they are prone to other reaction like protonation. Now there is a chance that means there is a chance that uh, actually it protonates and produces ultimately. And let me write it first; it will be helpful for you. So. First, it, pro it ultimately produces para aminophenol. Okay, and this reaction is called Bambarger rearrangement. I will explain in next video. Bambarger rearrangement. I am just uh, I am just briefly telling. There are two types of mechanism you can propose, but I will explain in the next video in details. 
But what happens? Uh, the easiest thing, first here protonation happens, OH2 plus. Second, it leaves, when it leaves, it produces a cationic species. What do I mean? You may think like that or another mechanism, I'll explain. You may think this is and this. So, since this positive charge is in benzylic position, so what happens? It conjugates, it conjugates and ultimately positive charge come here. And that time water molecule, because it is an acidic medium, so no OH. So please don't make any mistake that OH will never attack an acidic medium. So water will attack. So it attacks and it produces, from this it produces this NH, means water, at, uh, water attacks and it produces H, OH after elimination of one proton. Fine. So, when this is produced, see, this is a, a means aromatic nucleophilic substitution type. It's an electron deficient, so nucleophile attack. Like that. So, next type stage is the enolization, where water molecule acts as a base to abstract it, it goes and goes. So, in enolization, what is the driving force? Driving force is aromaticity. So in this way we have paraminophenol, the similar product, and this paraminophenol using a similar AC2O produces this acetone. So this is the overall process for the overall three process for the preparation of paracetamol industrially. And I have given the reference. So we have learned these three methods for preparation of paracetamol industrially and a corresponding reference I have provided. I guess you have learned it, it will be helpful and all the reactions used here are not difficult, easy to understanding for you, that's why I made it. So if you like my teaching, please help me to grow my channel. First of all, please subscribe my channel Chemistry and Mystery of Molecule and please press the bell icon to get the notification of every single video I upload. Secondly, please share you these videos among your friends so that many people could be benefited and that is the real success of my effort. So try hard. God bless you. See you in my next video.